Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be the second update of my winter project use it up. So the project use it up is basically where I determine a few body care products and a few candles that I want to use up within the winter months. So this is going to end in February. I'm probably like mid February and then I'll start the spring project. So yeah, but this is everything for the winter one. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to show you guys are the empties and right here I have the spiced gingerbread candle. This has been in I think for three months. So first month it was about more than halfway and then we got to here in a month and now we're like down here. Whenever it like finished burning some of the wicks burned longer than the others. So yeah, but this was just like a spicy <laughs> gingerbread candle. Um, I definitely think this was more appropriate in December, so I'm glad to have finished it in, in January and not have to worry about it anymore, but it's super spicy. Yeah, so I enjoyed this candle while I had it. Um, this is from 2019 Christmas, so I'm glad to have it out of my collection. And yeah, that's the first thing that I finished. Second thing is the Frosted Cranberry Shower Gel. So this one took me about two and a half months to finish, so the first month, we got to here and then we got all the way down here in the second month and now we are to here and I finished it up. So this was a good scent. I think Frosted Cranberry is just like a nice juicy tart um, fresh scent and I liked it. I probably don't think I'll purchase it again now that I've tried it in body care. I don't think I need it. Um, I also have it in a single wick candle so like I know it comes in candles too. I think I enjoy that candle a lot but I don't think I'll buy it again in body care, but it was really good to have while I had it. So another shower gel I have, actually this is a like a set, is the Hot Cocoa and Cream Minis. I had the mini shower gel and the mini uh, body cream. And yes, I cut open the body cream to get the stuff out because honestly it was so hard to get that last bit out. It was even harder than like the full size ones are. So, but yeah, Hot Cocoa and Cream, it was pretty good. Um, I don't think I would ever repurchase the like full size of these, but as a mini and using it for maybe like two and a half weeks is how long it lasted me. Um, the shower gel lasted me longer than the body cream, I would say, but I think that like in a mini, it was totally good to like try it out and see how I liked it. And I definitely liked it. It smelled like Swiss Miss hot cocoa mix. It smelled really good, but I think if I had it longer than two months, I would prob not two months, two weeks, then I would probably get sick of it. So, but I might consider repurchasing it again next year in a mini. So, so the next thing I have is the Frosted Coconut Snowball Hand Cream. Um, finished this off probably a week or two into January and, um, Frosted Coconut Snowball is not my favorite scent, but I did like it. I enjoyed it while I was using it. It's got a very unique kind of scent, and I wouldn't necessarily associate it with the wintertime, but it was a really good scent. I love their hand cream formula, so I really enjoyed using that. And then I think this is the last empty, right? Yeah. So the last empty I have is the Huda Beauty Kayali um, Vanilla Perfume Mini Sample. I think this is Vanilla 28. Yeah. This was so yummy. It's kind of like a sophisticated warm vanilla sugar um, and it's like super duper warm and this stayed on my body forever and I really love how it mixed with kind of like my scent but I'm probably going to repurchase this in like the full size or you know like a mini perfume um, but gosh this just smelled so good. I was I was really loving using this so I probably will go back to that again but yeah finished off the perfume so now I'm going to show you guys kind of everything that I have some progress on um and that's all for what I finished up so the first thing I want to show you guys is the hydrating body oil I got a lot of progress on this it's pretty much almost done it's going to be done next month so this has been a one two three four five six seven month journey so um yeah this is how much I have left. It's literally just like right underneath the label. And here's my progress line. So you can see like at the beginning, I really didn't like using it. And then kind of towards the winter months, I started loving it. And I actually figured out that I like body oils a lot. I'm going to have to wipe my hands off because the packaging gets so greasy. But I actually figured out that I really like body oils. So after I finish this one, I have a eucalyptus and tea body oil from Bath and Body Works that's waiting for me. So I'm going to be really excited to start using that. Let's do moisturizers next. So I have the 
Sugar Chair Crisp Body Cream. I put this in last month and um, gosh, this smells so good. It literally smells like cherry pie filling. It is so yummy. Mm. So last month when I put in the project, it started out at 6.8 ounces and now we're at five ounces. So I used about two ounces of this. Um, it'll probably last me another two months maybe. Um, and then I'll have it finished, but got a little bit of good progress on this one. And then um, the Coconut Mint Drop Body Lotion, I got a little bit of good progress on this. I was kind of focusing on the Hot Cocoa and Cream Mini for a while, so I didn't get to this, but I still have a little bit of progress, so I'm very happy about that. And this smells so good. So then I have the Aromatherapy Sleep Black Chamomile Body Lotion. Like I said before, this is old. This is from 2015. Um, so I really want to finish this up. I've been using like an ounce a month. So yeah, last month I was at like 13, I think it was 13.1 ounces and now I'm at 12.3. So I did use up like an ounce <laughs> and yeah, I mean, this just smells like, I don't even know what to describe it, but it's just kind of like soothing. So I like this. I just haven't gotten a lot of use out of it. So I just need to keep reminding myself to use it and pretty soon it'll be finished up. Okay, that's it for moisturizers. So moving on to the fine fragrance mist. So the first one I have is gingerbread latte. I did not use this a lot. Um, so actually I need to mark this. I haven't even marked it yet. Where are we? Literally the tiniest bit of use because I think I sprayed it on my sheets a few nights and that was it. Um, I was not concentrating on this one, but this is the progress. So in the last month and then this month, so. Yeah, I didn't use it that much, but it's really not like an interesting scent, but actually I like died using this, not died, like I loved using this with the Kayali Huda Beauty perfume. These two were a great combo, so if I repurchase that, I'll probably pair those two together, but yeah, I didn't really focus on that one, and I'm actually going to take it out of the project um, because I think Gingerbread Latte is, I think I'm good to kind of take it out. I don't gravitate towards it anyways and so I got a little bit of progress on it which is what I wanted I wanted to just you know use it so it's not like I've never used that before and now I know what I think of it and I think it's like a really good mixer to mix with other kind of scents so it's not my favorite but it's definitely still like a good scent it's like nice and calming and just like sugary sweet so the next one that I have is the mini twisted peppermint this is from 2016 so here are my progress lines I literally only have like this much left this will probably last me like the next week I've been spraying this liberally at work but it's kind of weird because my progress from December to January is like a lot different so I don't know what happened I was using this a lot I thought but I guess I wasn't using it that much so this will probably be gone in the next week I'm gonna really focus on this and try to use it up because I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Twisted Peppermint in the mini I mean in the fine fragrance mist so I just want to have this out of my collection but it's it's actually a really good room spray for work so I've been using it kind of like that the next thing I have, or the last um, Fine Fragrance Mist, is Frosted Wonderland from 2014. You guys know this is my baby. I love it. Um, here's the progress lines. I kind of have the pretty much same progress from month to month. So this is December, and then this is January. The lines right there, you can't really tell. It's just below these like snowflakes. You can kind of hardly see where the like liquid is at. Um, but yeah, I think maybe like two more months and I'll be finished with this. I really want to finish it before it goes bad and smells like alcohol. So yeah, but this is, I'm gonna spray it on me right now because I'm actually wearing it today. This is so yummy. I literally love this. So very happy to have this. And this pairs super well with my coconut mint drop. So these two are like a really good combo. They actually have like the same packaging color. Maybe they were meant to go together. I don't know, but yeah. So that's it for that one. And then for shower gel, um, I put in winter candy apple last month and I kind of marked it but when I really should have measured it last month. So I'll show you the markings that I did. So last month I put it in, it was like right about here and now it's like right about here. So I don't, yeah, but I measured it this month and it's at 9.5 ounces. Um, I think I said earlier that I don't really care about finishing this off, but I've changed my mind. I actually do want to finish this. But yeah, I do actually want to finish this up. So it'll probably be in the project for like the next few months, um, just until I finish it. And so now we're going to introduce a few new things. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. And then the last thing that I have an update on is the Cinnamon Caramel Swirl Candle. So 
I actually need to mark this. I did not burn this a lot last month. I concentrated on a few other candles to try and finish them in my project wax. So I didn't focus on this one that much. I think I only burned it once. Um, so here's the markings. So this is December's progress and January. I really didn't burn it a lot. It's like not my favorite scent. It's kind of overpoweringly caramel, but I'm definitely still focusing on it. And I think I'm gonna take candles out of my project use it up and only do candles in my project wax. So this will be the last that you'll see of candles in my project use it up. It'll only be body care from now on. Um, so yeah, but you will see this candle in my project wax. If you haven't seen that video, I did the intro, I think last week or two weeks ago. So go watch that and see what candles I'm working on using up. And then I also have the Frosted Cranberry Hand Lotion. I put this in last month because I knew that Frosted Coconut Snowball was gonna be finished. So yeah, this one's actually pretty, pretty close to empty. So I am gonna introduce a new one to you guys for the month of, well, I guess like the end of January through February. It's Christmas Candy Cane. So this one, just a really good candy cane scent. I've kind of been using it at home um, whenever I need some lotion and it literally just smells like a candy cane. It smells super good and it leaves that same like nice warm note that Twisted Peppermint in the body lotion leaves. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I know that it's like a warm scent. I don't know, but yeah, it's like a nice sweet lingering effect. So really happy to uh, put this in and start using it in the next month. Okay, I'm gonna put in a new perfume. So I actually have these little mini um, mini perfumes from Ariana Grande. This is Sweet Like Candy, but it was in a Christmas set, so it is red. So I have the red version of Sweet Like Candy and I have the pink version, so I technically have two of these mini perfumes in this same scent. Um, and oh my gosh, this smells amazing. Mm. It's just like so fresh, I love it. So this one's gonna be really good to start using in the next month and it's cute for like Valentine's Day, you know what I mean? So yeah, this one I will start using probably after my Lake and Sky is done, which, oh my gosh, I forgot to update you guys on this one. I put in this mini perfume last month um, and we're about halfway on the use of it. If you can tell, it's like right there. I'm not gonna mark it because it's gonna be done in the next month, but yeah, this is the Lake and Sky 1111 perfume oil. I don't really like perfume oils. It's, they're kind of weird. Um, and I'm like worried about them getting on my clothes, but still it smells pretty good. It kind of smells a little bit like, um, not masculine, but kind of like airy. It's supposed to have like an outdoorsy kind of um, under note to it. So that one's been interesting. It's not my favorite, but I don't not like it. So, but yeah, once that's done, I will start using the Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy. And then I am gonna put in another shower gel just because I wanna have some options. Um, this is the Santa's Blueberry Shortbread Shower Gel that I picked up at SAS. It's so cute. It smells so good. Um, let me mark it because I haven't marked it yet. I have been using it a little bit, so it's not like completely full, but this smells so good. It is baked blueberry, crumbled shortcake, and whipped cream. It smells really good, but I have noticed this weird thing that it's a little bit plasticky in the shower. It kind of smells like plastic. Not gonna lie, it kind of smells like plastic in the shower. I don't know what that's about. I mean, it still smells good. It just has like a hint of plastic smell to it. So that's kind of weird, but yeah, still putting this in and gonna start using it. Um, I'm gonna be focusing on the winter candy apple, but this would be like secondary to it if I wanna like mix it up a little bit. So speaking of mixing it up, um, I do have, so as you know, I have these two fine fragrance mists and this one's about to be done. So I am introducing two new fine fragrance mists and these will probably just continue into the springtime anyways. Um, but I'm really excited to use these because I think this will be like really fun for Valentine's Day and just like that, that whole week leading up to it, you know? So the first one I have is Pink Velvet Cupcake and literally you can't even read the writing on it. I hate the writing on this packaging. Don't know why they did that. So Pink Velvet Cupcake is sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow and sugar praline. Mmm, it smells so good. I just, I'm so excited to start using this and get a little bit of progress on it. I do plan on using the, I think I have the body cream and I also have the shower gel in Pink Velvet Cupcake that I plan on starting um, once the other shower gels that I'm using are done. This honestly, 
it smells so good and fresh and fruity and i mean no well yeah it's fruity because there's berries in it and sweet oh it smells so good i'm very excited to start using this i guess i'll mark it right here with you guys it's pretty much unused maybe i've used it a few times so it's almost at the top but not quite so very excited to start using this see how i really like this see how or if i really like this scent um i think i'm gonna love it but i really haven't used it a lot so i don't know for sure and then the next one is velvet sugar i picked this up at the 5.95 body care day sale in december yeah in december i'm gonna mark it with you guys i don't have the notes so maybe i'll put them up like down here so you guys can see that but this one smells really yummy it's like kind of sophisticated too it's sugary sweet which is what i like but with a little bit of sophistication so i want to say there's like one floral note in here and that's kind of what brings it up a notch but won't this just be the cutest thing to use on valentine's day it has little hearts on it look it had a little heart it's so cute so yeah very excited to put these two in and they'll probably stay for the spring i'm not planning on using them up um but i am planning on getting some progress on them and just like getting some use and see how i like them so those two are new additions and i think that's everything for this month's update um next month will be the finale and also the spring introduction so for spring i think i might introduce hand soaps is that something you guys want to see i don't know the other um use it up projects that i watch from my friends on youtube like ashley nicole she puts in hand soaps and i think i want to start doing that because i kind of already have in my head what hand soap i want to use next i just don't communicate that to you guys so if you want to see hand soaps in there i can definitely do that i think i might start that for the springtime just because I feel like that'd be like something more interesting since I'm taking out candles. So, but yeah, that's everything for my project use it up update. Let me know down below something you're really proud of using up. I think once this twisted peppermint is used up, I'm going to be really proud to say that I finished this in almost two months. So yeah, very excited to have, um, to start having big use on my fine fragrance mist because I have too many of them. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.